Hey, what's up? I'm Super Video Boy 64 here, coming at you with a great green screen tutorial. We're gonna cover all the basics from lighting to compositing. It's gonna be great, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so first things first, if you're gonna be green screening something, you gotta know what you're gonna replace the screen with. That way you can best match the lighting so your subject will match your scene. For our example today, I'm gonna be using a clip of my beautiful girlfriend telling me, my, my ex-girlfriend telling me that she loves me. Let's watch the clip. My roommate's girlfriend's so annoying. I don't know, but I think you guys should break up. <laughs> no, I seriously really hate you. <laughs> Great. Now that we have our clip, we can move on to the next step, which is lighting. So basically, lighting a green screen is pretty simple and straightforward. All you gotta do is make sure that it's nice, even lighting. You don't want any shadows on the green screen, you just want it to be one solid color so you'll get a nice, easy key. Now one quick tip I have is to actually light the green screen with tungsten balance lights and light your subject with daylight balance lights and then set the white balance of your camera to daylight. That way you're creating nice separation between your foreground and background which will lead to a nice easy key. Similar to the separation that my video game addiction caused with my beautiful girl, my ex-girlfriend uh, Speaking of separation, in order to avoid green spill that can make it keying difficult, it's important to let your take, take your actor to step a close away from the camera. Because if you're too close, sometimes things uh, go away and they don't come back. They don't come back. For the next step, it's important to match the camera settings as well as the perspective to the original source footage. So if you could find out what lens, what shutter speed, and what frame rate they shot on, it will help your footage match even better. I don't actually know what the, those details were for my clip, so I'm gonna go ask my roommate Sean, because he shot that video for that I, you saw earlier. I'm gonna go ask him. Hey Sean, do you know, you know that really cute video of my girlfriend saying she loves me? Do you know what? Frame rate, ISO, and lens you used. Oh, the video where your girlfriend broke up with you or the one where she said that you're a waste of space? Um, yeah, that was an iPhone, Dan. So whatever that does for you. <laughs> Never mind. I'll figure, I'll figure it out. One last thing to do before you shoot is to double check your camera settings to make sure you're shooting at the highest quality possible. If you can, shoot at either RAW or ProRes. Both of those codecs have very low compression rates and you'll preserve a lot of detail and have the perfect image. Well, not the perfect image because not, not everyone is perfect. I mean, you can try to be perfect, but it's, it's, it's hard. I, you try to be perfect, I go to the gym every day, I win every day, I sacrificed a lot of video game time to be going, to be trying to better myself, Caitlin, but I still don't get why you left. So that's pretty much all you need to know for filming. Let's hop on over to compositing. All right, so here we are in the editing software of our choice. I'm actually gonna be using Adobe Premiere today, but this will work in Final Cut or any other editing software that you use. Okay, so basically I've already trimmed my footage into the sections I want to use, uh, the most important parts. I love it's you. It's like one of the royal okay. classics. All right, that was uh, hers, and then here's mine. I can already tell this is going to work, and it's going to make me happy again. Um, okay, so we're going to put uh, my clip uh, together with hers, as it should be, and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to select my clip, and the first thing I'm actually going to do because uh, usually you won't be shooting in a vertical thing like this, is I'm going to create a mask around me, so I have to deal with less of the green screen. I call this a garbage mat. From here, let's go back to our full view. Uh, we'll click on the clip and we'll apply an effect called Ultra Key. I'm going to select a green color that's close to my body. That way we get a lot. And look, a lot of the work is already done for us. It already looks like we're in love. Okay, so... Let's go mess with the settings a little bit. We'll go into matte generation, which is most of our work will be done. And before we adjust these sliders, let's change the output from composite to alpha channel. This will be pretty standard in any keyer you use. It's just a matter of messing with all these sliders until you get your foreground completely white and your background completely black. So I'm gonna mess around with these sliders a little bit and then I'll, oh, I did it. 
And look, we're pretty much done. All you really would have to do now is change the position. And look at that. It looks like a couple of, couple of lovebirds. Um, Alright, so this is what we have so far. I love you. It's like one of the royal okay. classics. I love it's you. It's like one of the royal okay. classics. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh, it's almost real. I wish it was real. Um, we just have a little bit more work to do on this. So I'm going to show you guys a couple advanced techniques that I'd use in After Effects. So basically, we're going to select our clips, we're going to right click, and we're going to say replace with After Effects composition. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. So now we have our footage here. You'll see that when we import it over, Ultra Key is not an effect that After Effects supports. So we're going to have to do keying again. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. You can go to Effects, Keying, Key Light, which is a nice, easy way of doing it. You select that, and it's going to be the same deal of selecting screen mat, going into the mat, and adjusting clip black and clip white so that you have a mat like that, and you click your final result, and then you have a key. Um, another way to do it is if you go to Effects and Presets and search Color Key, you can apply that, and then you're going to use this iteratively. So you select the color, you up the color tolerance a little bit, and you'll see there's still green there, but that's fine. You just add another effect of color key, and then you're gonna select the green that wasn't keyed there, and then you're gonna keep going. There are also green screen plugins that you could buy, like Red Giant's Primac here, um, that have all these nice settings, but you know, why purchase something when you can spend that money on a loved one? So next, I would like to match the color of the two clips. So let's click our clip, we'll go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves, and we'll see that I'm pretty desaturated, so I'm gonna add a lot of contrast here. She has that harsh light on her side like that. Let's boost the highlights a little bit. I'll do this. Okay, so the last thing we need to do to really add me into the shot is motion track me into the scene. And it's super easy to do. So I'm gonna go to Layer, New, Null Object. This is gonna hold all the tracking data. Let's select the clip that we wanna track, so our snap story. We're gonna go over to the tracker and hit track motion. So now let's pick a point in the foreground where I would be standing. So we'll pick a high contrast point, which could be this corner of the table. And then we're gonna change our target to the null, because that's where all our tracking data is gonna go. Then we're gonna hit play. That's gonna track forward. Hit apply and okay. So now you'll see that red square sticks perfectly to the table, which is where I wanna be because I belong next to Caitlyn. And I'll turn my layer back on. I'm gonna position myself as close as possible. And then I'm gonna parent myself to the null. And now you'll see that I stick into the scene as it should be. All right, guys, so I have a couple more finishing touches to this that I'm gonna do, and then I'll show you the... Oh, sorry, someone's at the door. Um, Sorry, one second. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, yeah. Come in. So, um, what do you want to talk about? Look, um, I messed up, and what I did was really wrong, and I've been thinking about it a lot, and, um, you know, I kind of just realized at the end of the day, like, like the more and more time passes, the more I realize that you're just perfect. And I really think that we should get back together. <laughs> I'm perfect? You're perfect. No! No! Ah!